Hi, I'm Moody, and I'm here to give you a moon message. Today's moon is in a waxing gibbous phase under the astrological sign of Pisces. This reading is for Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Aries. Aries, thank you so much for any of you that have given me love. I really appreciate it. And for all of you, if you're able to resonate with something, hit that like, subscribe, the notification bell, leave me a comment, share the video if you think it will help somebody. And your comments always help everybody, right? We're all here to bring spiritual lessons, share some good news. Okay, Aries, we're going to do this reading a little different. We're going to focus on secrets, specifically your secrets. Like right now, what is Aries' secret desire? Holy Spirit, Angel Guide, Spirit Guides, what is the message for Aries today, right now, Holy Spirit, at this moment? It's a timeless reading. Whenever you see it, you're supposed to get it. Ooh. Communication. The Eight of Wands. Mm. Positive communication. Swift communication. So you want to hear from somebody or you want to say something or you want spirit to answer you or you have a prayer you want answered. There's some communication that you want and you want it now. Yeah, you desire to hear from somebody. That's what I'm feeling. And what is, what does Aries fear about maybe this communication? What is Aries' secret fear right now? Tell me, Aries' secret fear right now. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Aries, secret fear right now. Okay. Ten of Swords, reverse. A lot of hurt and pain and sadness. So, you fear that this communication could be negative. It could hurt a lot of people. It could cause pain. Um... You're fearing that you could hear something that's negative, that's hurtful, okay? What is Aries' secret weapon against whatever they hear? What's going to... Mm, think about it, right? Become the hermit. Mm-hmm. You know, some people, after hearing some negative news, they go out and they spread the news. And I'm he being told you should just be silent. Your secret weapon is your silence, Aries. Just being silent until you need to speak. You know, the, the hermit, first of all, is a major, major arcana. And I think, you know, there's some praying here. Uh, I do, because I think... Because of the hermit appearing um, and uh, your secret weapon is the hermit, right? Being quiet, being silent in solitude, kind of removing yourself from the situation. Whatever this Ten of Swords is, you're removing yourself from that. So, okay, let me just keep going here. And tell me about Aries' secret love. Is there a secret about Aries' love? Or what's the deal on Aries' love bottom card? Oof, five of swords. Stalemate also fell. Mm. A lot of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Hmm... Aries, it secretly, um, there are others around this love. There's other influencing this love. It's questionable. There's a stalemate. You two maybe aren't seeing eye to eye and others are influencing this. Mm. So, 
Yeah, your love is being impacted by outer forces, I see, Aries. Uh, okay, yeah. Definitely other people are involved there. What do you hate? What are you hating here? What are you hating, Holy Spirit? Aries. Yeah. You're hating. Maybe some of you are committed to a love that's just no good for you, right? One that's very... Uh, oh, I feel that you're in a commitment. You're committed to something that you hate or somebody's committed to mm, something that causes a lot of ang angst, anxiety, fighting, cutting sadness depression and and it's like this is a commitment that you have and okay tell me where aries power lies secret power for aries in this situation holy spirit what is this reading tell me mother of pentacles being grounded Mm -hmm. Remaining stable, in control of all areas, mm. still taking care of the kids, your responsibilities. Mm -hmm. There is a commitment, um, but spirit is telling you to go in silence. Tell me some more. Tell me, tell me some more. Your power is to know your value, your worth, just to focus on you. The hermit, your secret weapon is the hermit and your secret power is the mother of pentacles, which is all about you. Oh, Aries, this staying grounded, staying grounded. Tell me more for Aries. Mm. Yeah, you wanna hear from spirit. You definitely have been praying. Mm-hmm. Think. Mm, see, you have a lot of thoughts in this quad here, and they're negative, they're contentious, they keep you anxious. I see why you pray, because this is a commitment that they kind of depend on you, but you need to get out of this, because you're asking yourself, does this serve me on a daily basis? How can I continue this every day? Does it? Mm, okay. Yeah. Because you're not feeling that it serves you. You know, there's a lot of quarrels here. This is a lot of quarrelsome energy around you. And um, it's like zapping your power, your resources, your time, your energy. It is. It's like a bad habit that needs to stop. Whatever all of these swords are. The Ten of Swords. The Two of Swords. The Five of Swords. You're committed to this. It could be even a job. I don't know here. It could be a job, a relationship. But there are others. There are others. Mm. Either way, what else, Spirit? Is there something else you want to say to Aries? Yeah, you're allowing this commitment to make you cling to this situation. Yeah, you have to learn to let go. Yeah, everyone has free will and you have free will. That's where that hermit comes in because the hermit is in control of self, spends time with self, realizes they can control their self, their own resources, their own time, their own destination, their own family, their own, yeah, not staying with these quarrelsome people. Mm -hmm. Okay, Spirit, tell me more for Aries. Okay, Aries, give thanks. For the blessings of love soon to come your way. 
know that you deserve to be and ha have all that your heart truly desires. Yeah, you're being told to let go of this quarrelsome situation that you feel committed to. Um, you're holding on too tightly here and it's time to let go. And just focus on... Um, spiritual communications, hermit energy, yourself, things you can control, your own resources. These are blessings. And through these blessings, things are going to come your way. You know, because you deserve it. You deserve it, Aries. You deserve to have everything that your heart truly desires. It's coming. But you need to let go of this energy. I don't know if it's at work, if it's at home, and I think it's both for some of you. Mm. Yeah, you know, there's some pieces that are missing and this mother of pentacles is going to supply exactly what the piece that you need. Yes. Everything that you let go of here that you're committed to right now is going to be replaced with a better piece, a more positive energy. Mm going to be replaced with some romance well let's see cupid's arrow okay yeah as soon as you let go you're going to embrace something else another piece is going to take that place tell me about this piece holy spirit tell me about this piece for aries mm. yes yeah, separate yourself from this we said that let go and then you're going to be loving yourself with this hermit energy. Uh-huh. Right. And through loving yourself, you know, when you spend time just meditating on goodness and, and the good things, the blessings that you've received to date, that raises your vibration. Yeah. And it makes you more attractive. It makes you start to emit this confidence, this positive energy. Um, and you start to pay attention to what you're being guided to do, who you're being guided to talk to. You know, like sometimes spirit says, give that person money, say hello to that person, but we don't do it because we have free will, right? But you're going to be guided because you're emitting high energy just by focusing on you and separating yourself from this partner who's toxic. There's a lot of toxicity here that you were committed to in some shape, form, or fashion. Let it go. Because you've got to raise that vibration, love yourself, spend some time with you, get your resources in control, find out what pieces are missing and need to be fulfilled, and then you're going to be guided to follow Cupid's arrow. Yeah, you're going to be guided to take some steps that's going to bring you some love. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more about this missing piece in love that Aries is going to be guided to take. Tell me more. Yeah, you're going to be rebuilding. You're going to be rebuilding in the area of love, in the area of your resources. You're just going to be vibrating high by focusing on your blessings and what blessings you want to come your way. Just stay positive yourself. Respect is what's going to re attract romance to you. Keep working on it. Be persistent. Don't stop. You know, keep banging it. Keep going. Mm -hmm. That's right. What else, spirit? Yeah, this person's going to freak out, though. This energy here, once you start to pull away from this commitment, they're going to freak out. They're obsessed. Uh, they are not going to let you go easy, Aries. This is... An Aries that somebody's got like a Vulcan grip on. There's a dependency. No, 
you're the one with the resources, right? You're the mother of pentacles. You probably pay all the bills. They're going to freak out as soon as you start to pull away from this commitment, let go of it. But it's on the horizon. There's not much you can do, Spirit says. Just take care of you <laughs> with the hermit and the mother of pentacles. And uh, take the steps you're being guided to take. Mm. Yeah, you know why? Because Cupid's arrow is leading you towards your twin flame. Balance. A union that is unconditional love. Where you complement each other. Yes. You both show up with 100%. Nobody needs the other person. You know, that twin frame relationship is balanced and equal because everybody shows up. Both twins show up to that union ready. 100%. Mm. Okay. That's where you're being, that's where Cupid's arrows pointed towards your twin flame. That's why you're raising that vibration. You're spending time with you and spirit. And um, tell me more about this twin flame that's coming in for Gemini, Holy Spirit. Mm. For Aries. I don't know why I said Gemini, but you know why? I think because... Is it a choice? Yeah, this person, I think, comes back. Yeah, but you're free. You're free. And you know what? Spirit has freed you from, Aries. Be careful of jumping back in there. Could this be a Gemini? Or maybe because you have a choice between this new person, this arrow, where the arrow's pointed, and this person comes back, adding some confusion to... Uh, is that why I said Gemini for Aries, Holy Spirit? Tell me some more. Yeah, nostalgia. He, they have a grip on you. I was feeling that. There's a choice. But this is the choice. This is your twin flame. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Holy, holy. Mm. Yeah, you know... What spirit has freed you from? Because you're free indeed. It's already been destructed, but they do come back. And there is some competition. And this can destroy one of these. Somebody's heart you're going to have to break, Gemini. That's why. You're going to have a choice. A Gemini choice. Aries, you're going to have to choose. You're going to break someone's heart. <laughs> Yes, it could be a twin flame, like you make the wrong choice or something. I don't know. Maybe you have more to go through with this love here, Aries. There's a choice. Wow. All right, Holy Spirit. Is there something else that you want to tell me about Aries and this love and this choice? Between this love that doesn't want to let her go. But you told them, separate. You two are going to separate, but they're coming back because they can't get you out of their mind. I felt that. There's only almost an obsessiveness here going on. But if you follow Cupid's arrow, that leads you to a twin flame. You are definitely free. There's a choice here, Aries. What's it going to be? Okay. I don't know. What's it going to be? Holy Spirit for Aries. What's your final advice? Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you're going to be guided again to uh, a real family, uh, your twin, you know, they, they it can't get any real than that. Everything that you build with your twin mm, has a higher purpose. So it's a greater chance of success, of course, but we do have free will, you know, and sometimes that pull, that codependent pull, wins right and that's when our twin leaves us right they run away from us because they're not ready i don't know how this is gonna end aries let me know 
I hope you were able to identify with something that was said. If so, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. Share the video if you think it will help somebody else, Aries. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Until the next moon phase, namaste.